In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to embed questions in your Microsoft Stream video. This is a great way to keep your audience engaged as they watch your video, or perhaps you would like to check for understanding. Did they really understand what the video was about? So here's how it's done. Um, here I have a video that I've already uploaded to Microsoft Stream, and you can see off to the right, it has the transcript. Um, the captions have already been translated for me. That's helpful for some users. And then next to transcript, you'll see interactivity. So I'm going to click on interactivity, and here it says add form. So you can add a form from Microsoft Forms, which is a place where you can build um, a survey questions or quiz questions. So I can go to add form and it's going to ask for the uh, URL or the website address to that form. Now if you haven't created one yet, you can simply go right to forms by clicking here. So this is going to now take me to the forms app of Office 365. And I can create a new form or a new quiz. Um, the new form might be um, just asking your audience, you know, how do they feel about this video? What, what questions do they have? You know, those types of things. This new quiz could actually be for students, for example. You could actually assess whether or not they understood the video. Um, in this case, I'm just going to do a quick survey. So I'm going to click new form. And then I'm just going to call this um, Reflection for EdTech Video. And I'm going to ask them one question. So um, to add my question, I'm going to click Add New. And this is going to be a text response where they just type in their response. And my question is going to be, um, do you find this website to be useful? And um, I'm going to require that, that I get a response from this because I really want to make sure people uh, engage in this at the end of the video. All right, and that's really all I need to do. And I can preview this. If I go up here to preview, it's going to show me what this question looks like. Do you find this website useful? And they type their answer in here, yes, and they submit. Now, I might want to do something more, um, more than that. Um, uh, do you find this website useful? I could add another question that explain to ask them to explain why or why not. So I could type, add another question, explain why or why not. And there we go. We're going to make this a long answer in case they want to type um, a, a few paragraphs. And that's all I need to do. So again, I can preview it. I've got two questions now. Did you find this website useful? Explain why or why not. Okay. And so now um, I need to copy the link to these questions. And you do that by going over here to the share button. I'm going to click share. And then I'm going to click here and say anyone with the link can respond. This is an anonymous survey. Anyone can respond. They don't need to sign in. I don't need to know who they are. And then I'm just going to click copy right here. This is the link that I need to use. So I'll copy the link. And now I'm going to go back to stream, which is in this tab. So I'm going to go back a tab. I'm back here to my stream video and the interactivity. And now um, the other thing you want to do before you drop this in is see where it says position on timeline. I'm going to drag my slider to the end of the video because I want this to pop up at the end. So there I am. My, my um, slider is at the end. Now I'm going to go here and paste in the link that I copied. I'm going to name the form. So um, feedback, I'll just call this. And then I just click add to timeline. Boom. So now you can see it here. Um, under interactivity, we have a feedback form. 
And now there's, you can see a little dot on the timeline. That's where the question will pop up. So let's, let's try it out. So I'm going to slide this back. And I'm going to play. Boom. And there it is. My questions pop up. Did you find this useful? Yes. Explain why or why not. I love the resources. And submit. All right. Then they click continue to video. So this, if, if you if you decided to put your questions in, in the middle of the video, they could then click here to continue watching. All right, in the next video, you're going to learn how to access the results of the form that you created.